Oh, oh my god. See you. You look fabulous. Oh yeah. You look fabulous. <laughs> um, so how long have y'all been in New York? I just got here. I love it. Oh yeah. How long I have you, you been you're born and raised, born right? Born and raised. Yeah. Never could leave. I tried a few times, but yeah, always you always found myself back. back. Yeah. 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 I've been here for a while. I'm telling you, we, everyone comes to New York for six months and then they never leave. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty so great. So you are, What's better you are here to stay. Yeah, it is pretty great. I, I'm a total Southern girl, so I never thought I'd say that, but I actually love it and like where Ever you live is kind of your own little small village, like your own small town, like mm -hmm. of stuff. It's I so love it. true. Yeah. And people are like, well, this area is better, and I like this one more. And <laughs> they're it's like all battles. great. Yeah. But why? Why do you choose to do the show? Do you feel like it's exciting to do that, or do you do you get a little nervous being a part of a show like this? Because everybody's in your life. I don't think we knew what we were getting into. Oh, that's that's how they got you. <laughs> yeah, I took a job. Yeah. I <laughs> She's a model. I was like, yep, I'll do it. I was like, you know, it's just another job, but yeah. I really didn't know what I was signed up for. It's really yeah. not, like it's real life. Uh, but it's oh. good because we learn a lot about each other and learn about ourselves. And I don't know, I think it's, it's a good uh, platform for women, mm -hmm. right? We get yeah. our own business, we get to say what we want to say. I think our relationship might kind of help other people, other girls. So for that, I think it has, you know, Benefits. benefit to it. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I also feel like I come from a culture that is really private, women can talk, like, right. you know, the whole thing. Mm -hmm. So me being in New York and be getting this kind of opportunity, I'm like, mm, I should not not take it. I yeah. think it's just, it's great. Like having, as a woman, having a platform. That's a solid point. I've never really yeah. thought about that. Not many yeah. women in all over the world yeah. get to have that To choice. get what we get to yeah. do. Like it's, it's, it's a very- It's amazing. And, and I think also like, we're all girls, girls, most of us at least, and I think we... <laughs> <laughs> There's so much there with what you just said. Sorry. Oops. She's, a, she's a cancer, she just can't help it. <laughs> You know what though? It's really entertaining. <laughs> yeah. No, but you know, it's like a sisterhood that we've all formed. Yeah. And it's unbreakable because we've no one else will understand what, what we you all go went through. through together. You know what I mean? I yeah. feel like so. they threw us in like Serengeti at night and they said, <laughs> figure out how to get out. Yeah. And she was just like, listen, am I might not you my your cup of tea, but you're gonna help me get out of here. Yeah. yeah. So it's like we are the only people can really understand what is happening really? and what's going on. And it, it, it keeps us closer. But also being close with someone that also can bring a lot of... It, yeah, the closeness actually can turn on you yeah. because you get so close, you're like, why did you do that to me? You get yeah. hurt more. Yeah. 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 Which is just happens uh, in friendship. It, yeah. In a way that like, you are so close to me, you should know. Right? right? Yeah. So it's like, no, sometimes you just have to communicate. And that goes across everyone in this world. Like, yeah. people don't, a lot of husband and wife are fighting for this. Like, he should just know. We've been together for so right. long. Right, that's a good point. Like, right. he's not, he's not God. He doesn't, you have to really articulate your feelings for yeah. people, you know? Yeah. And yeah. you'll be very clear. And don't do it when you're angry because then it, nobody can hear it. Oh, I'm the person I have to, I, I have to go, ooh, I need a minute. I'm yeah, gonna be too. on my own. Yeah. I can't Same. do it like right in the moment, which bothers really, people. I know, yeah. I know. Because you have boundaries. Yeah, well, it bothers people because they don't want, they're like, no, we need to remedy it right now. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah. I know, but I'm not in a good frame of mind. So yeah. you have to I respect that healthy. part. Yeah. But did you, were you like this when you always walk away, or you learn? Oh, lots of therapy, Uba. Yes. <laughs> yes. Like lots of therapy. Yes. We I was therapy. not into confrontation. You go into therapy. Hey. I think therapy is like a privilege. Like if you. It is a privilege. It, like you know, yeah. what a lucky thing. God, I grew up around people being like, go write about it or something. Nobody cares. Like you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like it's like yeah. when you're poor, nobody has that luxury. You know. Such yeah. a luxury. But to have a trained professional go, hey, this is maybe how you should navigate this or whatever. Right. But yeah, knowing how to, hey, I don't deal with in that situation. It's like to walk away for a minute. But I guess the producers on your show are like, don't walk away. Don't walk Sit away. Sit in it. <laughs> no, actually, I did they, some walking. They, Marinate. Honestly, they don't tell us. Oh, You no, can do whatever you want to do. I can close the door and go to sleep. I can take this out if I want to. They will film you, but yeah. they don't tell you what to do. Oh, I like the power in that though. Yeah, yeah. This is coming off. Yeah. Yeah. This is, yeah. But, yeah. But you are so in the heat, you don't want to. Yeah. Once you're in a mess, you're like, I'm already in a mess anyways. Let's yeah. do this. <laughs>
I love you. No, so, well, this is the first time in Real Housewives history that the show recast an entire city. So we had Uba and Aaron's wow. castmate, Jenna Lyons, on the show a few weeks back, and she had this to say about the new season. I think what's nice about this season is that everyone has somebody different to kind of plug into. We're yeah. all pretty different, like, you know. Yeah, but that's what much more diverse, cool. I think, between age and ethnicity and background and age. I'm the old one. Yeah. She does not look old. I'm like, what? Do you agree with that, though? Like, the new season having better representation just across the board? Absolutely. I think we're, even we're in terms so of geographic, different. like where we live. Even where we live is different. Yeah. yeah, I think we're really, it's, it's such a different thing. Yeah. Such a different, I don't Which even think Which they kind of had to do if you're gonna completely, you know, right. do a rehaul of it and yeah. have new, yeah. I think that's cooler. Yeah, no, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's really not the same. You mean even our professions, yeah. like they're all so different. We don't all do the same thing. I know, I wanna get into that. I'm gonna get into that. So, Y'all had conflict at one point, right? But you're good now. Well, you seem good now. Or you're either really good actors. Are we good actors? <laughs> yeah. We're like no, no. horrible actors. I swear to God. <laughs> we would not do that to you guys to come. I, you, I, I'm not, I don't do fake. No, me neither. Oh my and God, it gets I'm me in trouble. Yeah. yeah. It's exhausting yeah, yeah. to have to pretend. I think that's something I need to learn going forward. Like being in the public eye, sometimes you can't say everything you mean. Yeah, because I would like to you... be more fake. Yeah. <laughs> it's just difficult. Yeah, me. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think um, it, I, our, our fight was very real. Yeah. yeah. And it was huge misunderstanding yeah. in a both side. Um, and unfortunately, none of you guys will ever see the all six hours of filming of that. Oh, you see. Because uh, you know, right they now. cannot show you guys everything. So yeah. they show what they want to show. And let's face it, if they don't leave you guys question or calling one of us is bad or is Then not, what's going to bring them back then to like, what yeah. is, what, there's no next season, right? Yeah. So I, end, I am learning well, you're that. You're like a producer. To accept it. Yeah. I'm learning. <laughs> Trust me. Very yeah. insightful. I know. I was like, that's more like it's how a producer. It's been a hard makes, battle. For yeah. Me. No, well, because what's you're very yeah. uh, private with like your personal life, yes. and you're pretty open, right? I'm way too open, <laughs> and my husband is way too open. I'm like, we're not going to talk about everything next time because yeah, what has been shown that's what is you our say. entire sex life. Oh, Which is great. Hey, but that's not a that's problem. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. Hysterical. That's... No one has ever said that. Right? Yeah. Well, not everybody's <laughs> having that life right now. Um, so you're, you're, back to you. So you're, you're very private about it though, right? You're like. So here's the thing. I'm not private. I have never been private of my relationship. I love to flaunt my men. I love it. Yeah. Because I usually get them hot, smart, and rich. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. I Bye. Love. I mean, yeah, I love it. Yeah. You know, women wear jewelry, and we usually have, you are what you're extended of the person next to you, right? Yeah. This is why I, I tell guys, I'm like, I don't know why they're so afraid of getting married. You're literally getting a built-in concierge. Your wife is like 24 hours concierge. No, opposite. It, no, no, he's my concierge. Well, for you in your relationship, but most women, they're the one who are taking care of their wife, what to wear, what to eat. Married no. men so have a better life divorced, but yes. yeah, than single men. <laughs> no, I'm with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How is it, speaking of family though, how is your mom doing? She has health concerns right now, right? Yes, so yeah. I haven't really said this anywhere, and I don't want to get choked up. I'm, she's okay with me talking about it, but she had breast cancer this summer. Yeah. Um, That's hard. And it's hard because she's like my strong family member, like my healthy, strong, nothing ever happens to her. So it really threw me for a loop. And it was just a lot. But thank God, I mean, the, the, the amount of change that's happened in this world, I mean, in terms of health and- Medically and speaking. Med and yeah, I'm like, I get choked up. So I start thinking loopy like you. Yeah, yeah. You sit, well, like, like yeah. as though I'm sick. But, um, no, she is okay, thank God. She's on an amazing medication that actually shrunk the tumor in half in six months. I mean, it's just oh, no. unbelievable. She didn't even have to do chemo, so. Wow. Yeah. Well, good for your mom. Oh, okay. We're so happy for you. Yeah. I'm so happy, thank God. And you, I, I did your father, and your father passed away, and then your mother right after, right? Yeah. That's hard. Very hard. Did you, and you were really close with your mom, I heard. So yeah. like, did, did she ever leave you with any advice that you still yeah. just keep around with you? Well, my mom, I always, I call and complain all the time about everything. This person cut me off, this person did this. <laughs> she always said to me, you don't know what you, you don't know what your neighbor is going through. Yeah. And I keep saying, my neighbor rich, they're okay. <laughs> <laughs> they're they fine. 
like, you don't know what your neighbor are going through. Like you, so what she meant is like you never know the next person mm -hmm. in the subway or out, you know, what they're going through. Yeah. Like nobody so walk true. around with their information, right? Yeah. So she's just like say, you know, you need to be grateful for whatever you have, right? So she passed away December 12, 2012. Mm -hmm. And I remember 10 days after losing her, I went to a job in uh, Copenhagen. And I already got the job before, and I didn't want to cancel, because she wouldn't want me to cancel. Mm -hmm. So I went to do the job, and I told my agent, don't tell them that I, um, I lost my mom. I'm going there in and out, and I'm coming out. Like, yeah, and it's easier if you don't yeah. have to address it right then. So I got there in the morning, and the lady was on her computer, and she says, oh, I had such a not long, long, long day. Um, night, I was shopping in my head. I'm like, you complain about shopping? And she said that her friend, um, oh my God, her friend, dad, her friend husband just got killed by, she went, he went for a run and a car hit him. And they have three kids and the oldest is 10 years old. And so the, the, her friend can, doesn't even recognize where she is and she doesn't want the kids to go without Christmas. Oh my God. So that's why she was oh, doing so the shopping. Oh, so you were thinking like, oh, shopping's shopping. hard, but yeah. then you don't really know the whole story behind yeah. it. Right. Yeah. And that day earlier, before I leave my hotel, and I never put TV on, the TV was on, it was Obama and TV crying about the Sandy, mm. the Sandy Hook. Sandy Hook. Mm -hmm. And he was crying, talking about it. And just the fact that these women put shoes of their kids to take them to school and they're getting a call, come pick up your dead like, kid. Yeah. And for me, I lost my mom when I was older, I had a job, right. like, I was already grateful. older. Yeah. I was like, oh, this is what she meant. You don't know what your neighbors are going through. Yeah. Right? right? Because Ooh, that I realization. Am, I'm crying. Yeah, I am too. Mom. Yeah. And that's why I keep telling people, just be good to your parents. She because told me that. Yeah. I was in a fight with my, my mom actually before all this happened and yeah. she's like, you don't understand. Don't, understand. don't do this. Don't do this, don't do this. Like just, in life, like we don't know we're gonna die. Like that is like a universe rule. We all know that's gonna happen, right? Mm -hmm. So what is, what is the problem? Like if, if we know we're gonna die, then why are we we're so hurt when they're gone? It's because what we didn't say yesterday. Yeah. You know, it's what they don't know what we think of them, right? Just tell people you love them and let don't let your ego get the best of you. Yeah, we take it for granted that there is a tomorrow. Yeah. Guys, we're so fragile. Look what is the world is going on right now. Just, yeah. just be a good person. And if you want to tell someone you, tell them you, but then <laughs> to go to violence. Yeah. yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let's take a quick break. Episodes of season 14 of The Real Housewives of New York City. If it's anything like just this conversation, it's gonna be so intense. I love it. Um, but they are now streaming on Peacock. Y'all gotta go check that out.